The reason for sitting in Zazen is that thoughts are not steered into activity by physical movement and the mind is more easily quieted when the body is immobile. There are several sitting postures commonly applied in Zazen. The most famous being cross-legged in either full or half lotus, the Burmese position or the traditional Japanese way of sitting called Seiza, sitting on the heels, on either a cushion or a Zen bench. Whatever posture suits best for your meditation practice, make sure the ground is padded by either a folded blanket like I use, or a so-called sabouton, or a thick carpet. For us Westerners not used to sit cross-legged, both full and half lotus pose a seemingly insurmountable challenge. In full lotus, the right foot is placed on the left thigh and the left foot is placed on the right thigh, or vice versa. In half lotus, either one foot is placed on the opposite thigh, while the other foot remains on the ground. Even I, after many years of yoga and zazen, am not able to sit in either position. But there are great videos on YouTube that illustrate how to stretch your legs to eventually make it into full or half lotus. I will link some of them in the description below. The strongest base is typically provided by the lower body forming a tripod with the knees firmly on the ground and the buttocks supported by a sitting cushion. I typically sit in Burmese position with either the right or the left foot in front of the other. Instead of a sitting cushion, you may also use a yoga block where you can adjust the height accordingly or whatever you find in your household, such as a massage roll. If one of the knees doesn't quite make it to the ground, use a folded blanket or towel to give it a little bit of support like so. For practitioners not used to sit cross-legged, Seiza or the traditional way of sitting in Japan is a good alternative. For shorter periods of time, say five to ten minutes, you may be able to sit on your heels. For longer sitting sessions, insert a cushion between your legs while keeping the knees in line and adjust the height as much as needed. If neither of these postures are available to you, use a chair. Keep your feet flat on the ground and shoulder width apart. Sit on the forward part of the chair and use also a cushion to encourage the natural bend in your lower spine. In either position, tip the pelvis forward to allow the curve in your lower back to happen. From here, start swaying from side to side, a couple of times, maybe five, six, seven times, and gradually find your natural center of gravity. <laughs> 